Good afternoon. A sheriff has ruled that the deaths of three people who were killed in a rally crash in the borders might have been avoided. The finding is included alongside a series of recommendations for improving spectator safety following a fatal accident inquiry into two separate crashes. You may find some of the images in Morag Kinneborough's report distressing. Late May 2014, the Jim Clark rally through the borders. With local roads closed, many had come to watch cars racing at speeds over 80 miles an hour. We assumed it was a safe area. The organisers didn't tell us anything different. They came through with the spectator control cars and nobody moved us back from the taped area they were standing in. The Leetwater Bridge is an accident black spot. One rally car spun off the track here earlier that day. But rally crowds are drawn here, keen to see cars tackle this section of the course. And areas before and after this bridge and on each side of the road were meant to be completely clear of people. Images from just before the crash might be upsetting. I heard a rushing sound as the car came round. I was running at that stage and all I felt was a bump and I was flat uh, face down into the field. Managed to get myself up slightly and then collapsed after that. And then uh, basically silence. Press photographer Ian Proven, his partner Elizabeth, known as Betty, and their friend Len Stern died. The sheriff recommended prohibited areas should be better marked in future. A year before Valentine's weekend, Glen Urquhart Forest by Drumna Drochet. A signal was given to stop the race, but there were already cars on the track. <laughs> Joy Robson died, saving an eight-year-old boy beside her. The sheriff wants better warning systems for drivers. I first realised something was wrong when we were in the, uh, in, uh, waiting to start the stage. Uh, we were in our car, waiting for our time, uh, and we knew that the stage had been stopped for an incident. Uh, we had no idea what that is. There have been a series of safety improvements made following a government review, but Raleigh's future remains unclear. How one is expected to marshal and contain spectators over 80 miles worth of uh, forests or fields where locals can find their way in, have been doing it for years and think they can get away with it. If the Jim Clark rally resumes, one of the victim's families called for the Swinton stage to be suspended for a year as a mark of respect for those who died. Maura Kinneborough, Reporting Scotland. The latest ferry to join the Kalmar.